Welcome back today. Let's see if I remember how to do this vlogging thing. My phone's been out of commission for a little while. I just haven't done this in a really long time. So hopefully this goes well. Really impromptu. Come thrifting with me today. I'm actually going to a new spot never been to before. So we'll see what it looks like. It'll probably be a short little video. I actually don't even know if they'll allow me to film in there. I'm guessing I'll be able to film until they tell me not to, but I'm going to attempt it. I've got in my head a few homeware kind of things that I'm looking for and with clothing as usual just going to see what I find that's the best way to thrift is to just not be looking for anything specific because you'll never find it if you are so open mind see what we find obviously we're still in the midst of a pandemic so this is like my big outing for <clears throat> the week I really go absolutely nowhere other than to thrift stores and it is early on a weekday, so hopefully it won't be very busy. If it is, I just turn around and leave. So yes, masks will be on, all precautions being taken. I guess I can start off by sharing what I'm actually wearing today, because I quite like it, and it is thrift themed. It's probably a bit of wishful thinking. It's a bit springy for, uh, well, it's still quite cold here in Vancouver, so and it's raining sideways today but whatever i'm just going from the garage to the car car into the shop and i just like my outfit so i'm keeping i'm going with it <laughs> all right so first up is the little coat so cute with little wooden knobs on it it's a little, almost a little too small it's kind of like child size but um it works it's almost like a crop style i love the little pipe lined pockets and little slits on the side here. I just paired it up with a really simple crew neck white shirt. I love this kind of stuff, which is a simple crew neck. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of like the frame, a simple frame on a painting or something. It's just easy breezy, nothing fancy. On the bottom, I have my Levi's that I bought when we were still living in Amsterdam. They're super stretched out at the moment because I've worn them a ton of times, but I love the huge cuff on the bottom, the really light wash color. And the stain I got on them the other day is really showing up more on camera <laughs> than in real life. Um, but yeah, these are awesome. Got them from a store called, I think these ones were from Zipper. If you're in Amsterdam, that's where you want to load up on your Levi's. I got a few pairs from there when we were living there. So yes, very simple. I'm just going to be wearing my a really beaten up tote bag that I take with me everywhere now. I pretty much don't wear bags anymore I feel like I just take a tote bag with me everywhere and then I can stuff my finds into that bag so in an ideal world I would probably stick these guys on just a simple little mule but I think I'm gonna end up cold I'll probably have to put socks and sneakers of some kind on but that would be how I would ideally in a nice spring non-dark Vancouver day, these guys would be on my feet. All right, so now I'm actually ready to go. I got my little tote that was actually given to me in Amsterdam when we did all our visa paperwork. Everything came bundled up in this bag. So it's, it's not just a regular grubby old tote bag. It is a little memento of our time in Amsterdam. Definitely needs a wash though. It says, I am more than that on it. <laughs> and then on my feet I went with my little brown ankle boots they kind of look like cowboy boots with my big cuff on top but they're just little ankle boots they are really easy to slip on and off so if I want to try something on at the shop I can do that easily while balancing on one foot so let's go ah beautiful Vancouver <laughs>
things first one the green hat I had to get this I love the shape of it I'm very into this like slightly cowboy it's like a slight cowboy shape cowboy hat shape rather than just the flat brim I used to be very specific I had to be a flat solid brim I'd iron all my hats to make them flat but now I like this slight curve it's a little more of a western feel loved the color it'd be great for summer because it's really light I've got my hair up right now it's filthy so you can't really can't really get it on all the way but you get the idea it's very sturdy stiff kind of hat oh it looks so funny with my hair underneath it but you get the idea the color loved it that was five bucks and in terms of houseware stuff all i got was this little guy i was actually looking for blue and white dishes but uh, no success there. I'm being very particular about the ones. I'm not just getting any white or blue dish, but I'm very particular about how they look. But I found this guy. I'll also collect anything that is wood-like. This just looked like a honeycomb and it's really nice and sturdy. It looks like it's probably handmade, hand-turned. Um, it just feels nice for wherever we end up next. This will probably be on a bookshelf or a bookcase maybe on a fireplace mantle if we're lucky enough to find a place with a fireplace. That was four bucks. I really liked it. It feels nice, nice and smooth. And I also got a skirt, but I will try that one on when we get home. We gotta get on the road because it is pouring cats and dogs right now. And people kind of lose their minds when it's pouring rain and or snowing, God forbid it snows. People's brains literally like fall right out of their head and they don't know how to drive anymore. So it's probably gonna take take a little while to get home so let's get home all right we made it back home again i thought i'd quickly throw on the skirt the shirt i was already wearing i love it even more than i thought i would super perfect for spring and it's almost kind of eastery too which just passed but yeah it fits me perfectly at the waist it has almost an 80s feel with these little kind of triangle shapes and like muted neons it has little stars on it and then it has a random patch of lace through the center and then pleated pattern on the bottom. Super fun to wear and swish in. Has that swish flow feel. Lining on the inside. I think it would look really cool with some cowboy bo boots. Even with my brown boots, it's kind of cute. Um, yeah. That was five bucks, a good little addition to my wardrobe. All right, well, I think that's all I've got for you for today's video, short and sweet, I think. Only got a few things. I'll probably do these a little more often though, um, cause I know you guys love them. I love filming them. And my favorite pastime is shopping at a thrift store. So um, if I'm not here, I'm definitely over on Instagram. I am back in the OR full time. So I'm not over there as much as I used to be, but I try to keep up with it. It's just at Andrea Claire first A, there's two A's there. Make sure you're following along over there. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Very much appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.